Yo, what's good, guys? Venom Fire here back in the video, and today I'm gonna be talking about five things that you can do in Madden 21 to become a great player, and five things that you can use to become, you know, get a head start over the competition once the game comes out. Now, these tips um, I've been doing in every single game, and I've had really good success with them. I've tried them out, and I pretty much do them on every play, and I just live by these five rules, these five tips, and I think. These are just some good fundamental tips to add to your game. You can obviously adjust in between and around with these tips, but just these, you know, base tips are a really, really strong way to go ahead and play the game. So first things first, we got be balanced on offense. Now be balanced means that you're running the ball and you're passing the ball. You never want to pass the ball 30 times um, this year, in my opinion. Uh, every time that I've tried to go, into an offense like a bunch and I've tried to put the ball in the air 30 plus times I have it's either been a really close game or I've even lost trying to do that um, I really don't recommend it obviously if you're a pro style passer you've been running a formation for years you've mastered it then that's a different case scenario but even me I've been running bunch for a while and I just haven't had you know the best success with running it 30 times a game um and personally, you can really be balanced out of any formation. Pretty much every person that I've lost to this year on the beta have been balanced. They've been running the ball. They've been passing the ball at a really high level. Um, and they just mix it in consistently. It makes it very difficult for me to stick in a formation like Big Dime or 3-4 odd. 3-4 odd, I can't defend the pass. Big Dime, I can't defend the run. So I have to go to a nickel 3-3-5 wide, any nickel normal, something like that. And it kind of does limit your opponent defensively, which is really a key thing that you can do. Now, you can really run the ball out of any formation. I could have gone to bunch, and I could have ran sweep 15 times a game. It is really good, and you can really run the ball out of any offense and still have success. But it's when I know my opponent is just going to pass the ball that it makes it a lot easier on myself to personally play defense. And I've noticed that over the course uh, of these games I've played now me personally on offense, what I'm doing is I'm coming out in a single back set. I'm coming out in an under center set and I want to run the ball first. And then I want to get my opponent in a run D, get him in a three, four stack the box. And then I'm able to pass the ball very easily, uh, especially with a team like the chiefs or the Buccaneers. It makes it really easy on myself on offense. And that's personally my favorite scheme that I've been running. Obviously I still have to lab a couple more formations, but that's definitely been my favorite way of running offense is just coming out. I like to run the ball first. Even if he is in run D, I'm still going to try and run the ball, get him to commit to stopping the run out of that formation. And then what I do is I go ahead, uh, pull out the pass in unorthodox, you know, downs and distances, and I'm able to catch him off guard very easily. So that's just my first tip. Again, every good player I've played in the beta has been balanced. Even if they're running bunch, they're running sweep a ton, and they're really keeping it mixed up. That's going to take us to our number two tip. It's going to be audible between formations. This is a thing that is going to be very useful in Madden 20 or Madden 21 and something that I've been consistently doing every single play almost. I would go to the line of scrimmage. If I don't like what I see, I audible between these two formations that I'm running and it's really going to catch your opponent off guard. Now this year, they have a thing where if you audible and you flip and then you audible and you make hot routes, you're going to get a, um, I think it's a false start. So that's happened to me a couple of times, but I've been audibling like every single play. I've been flipping, I've been doing hot routes every play, and I've only got around, you know, maybe three of those false starts. So it's really not that big of a deal. They made it out to seem like it was going to be a huge deal, but it's really not. So don't be too worried about that. Um... But yeah, you can really, there's also a way if you have like two tight ends in a set, I think you can actually audible down to like a really two tight end running set out of gun bunch or something like that. I haven't tried that out myself, but I'm, I know for a fact you can do that. Well, like I said, the reason that you really just want to audible this early is just going to be very difficult. For me, what I do is I'm just audibling into a formation that has like, it's like compressed and then it goes to a spread out set. It's really difficult for my opponent to defend both the run and the pass out of it just because they have to worry about the certain routes. They can't just leave a seam streak open. They have to unbase the line. They have to man a line. They have to move that linebacker out. So um, even if you're in a run-heavy set, I would recommend audibling. If you're in an I form close, you can audible to a close slot. If you're in a you know weak close flex, you can audible to an I form close. And even if you're in a pass-heavy set like a gun bunch, 
mix it in. Maybe audible to a five wide, maybe a gun doubles. You know, there's tons of formations that are really good in this game. And there's not really, you know, one formation that's completely dominant. So I recommend just keeping it mixed up. And that's probably the best advice I could give you. Just audible between formations. Uh, you don't have to stay in the same formation every play. And that's sort of one and two really do go together on this list. So those are my two offensive tips. Like I said, these are just base tips. They're not going to be too fundamental, too specific, but they're just fundamental tips that you can go ahead and just keep with any offense, any playbook, any formation. So number three, I have now I have some defensive tips. I have always have a QB spy. Now, even though in the beta, two of these teams have pocket QBs, I am spying every single play, and I'll tell you the reason why I am QB spying. Now, first of all, there's the pass rush this year is tuned down a lot, so keep in mind that the difference between three pass rushers and four pass rushers isn't that much. So I just, I've just been deciding that when I know my opponent's going to pass, I've been um, always rushing three with a QB spy. I feel like that's the best way to defend the passers and the big reason why is because of these zone drops what I've been doing is I've been going ahead and I've been putting my zone drops on really high like 20 depth 15 depth to defend those deep corner routes that people want to throw deep crossers so I've been playing very deep zone coverage and that's you know what that does it leaves open drags that I'm not going to be able to use or usering is not the same um, so that's really what you have to do. Um, I really love the QB spy because people can't quick snap a drag. Obviously, they're going to have a couple of other routes I'm going to have to defend deeper. I'm not just going to let them you know, take a streak and just not defend the drag. Uh, so the spy does a really good job of working you know, angle routes, drag routes, slant routes. It's really good. Um, and it's also good with those running back delay routes. It's a very good. And also... Obviously, if they have a Lamar Jackson or Mahomes, they're going to try and scramble out the pocket. That's something that you can prevent with the QB spy. Make sure that you do. Are you using your fastest D lineman, though? Otherwise, you might be able to get outran. But even with these pocket QBs, Brady, Matt Ryan, players like to step up in the pocket. And when they step up, you send the spy. They're going to have to get the ball out really quickly at that point. It's really just something that has been very successful for me in defending the pass. Now against the run, it's going to be a little bit worse if they catch you off guard, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's going to take us to our number four. It's going to be user a safety. I've seen tons of people, you know, complaining on Twitter, um, constantly complaining about usering, uh, saying it's there's no skill gap in usering. That's that's true to an extent, but what I've done is I've played with the Chiefs a ton. I played with the Ravens a ton, so what I like to do, and this really, usering is not that bad. Um, I've been usering a 90 speed safety, Juan Thornhill, or Tyron Matthew, and I've really been able to use her well. If you go out and you're running a 3-4 odd, and you're running a stock cover 2, and you're usering Anthony Hitchens, Damian Wilson, you know, Patrick Queen, whatever these linebackers are, you are simply going to get beat by a 90 speed receiver. It's like, I don't understand why people think an 83 speed linebacker would be able to defend it, but really your best bet on defense is to come out in a, any nickel set, any dime set, any formation where you can get those safeties at linebacker and really just use them. I mean, even though I am putting a 70, 69 overall safety in my back, as my back deep blue, it's not really making a difference. Uh, you really do need your user. It's going to make the biggest difference. And ever since I've been doing that, my opponents have, uh, they've been able to drive down the field. Offense is really easy, but they've struggled a little bit. My user has definitely been able to take away some of those routes that I hadn't before, like post routes, like crossers, uh, easy seam streaks I can lurk, uh, hitches, and it really does make it more difficult to pass. Um, so for everybody that is complaining about usering, uh, even if you are a 3-4 odd player, just go ahead, hop into a nickel. Uh, nickel's not even too bad against the run this year. It still can't stop it. So user is safety, and especially day one in ultimate team, regs, whatever mode you're playing, um, the ability to go ahead and just user is safety. Just get the fastest, cheapest guy. Uh, Darnell Savage, he'll probably have like a gold card or whatever. Um, just go ahead, use him and whatever just be able to lurk crazy stats don't really matter it's all about the speed in my opinion and yeah it's going to take us to our last 
And final tip, maybe the most important tip on the, this list, and it's going to be have more than two deep blues at all times. Now, if you come out and run stock cover two, it's something that really was pretty good in Madden 20. Just a simple stock cover two sink, cover two. Really was good in Madden 20. It is completely awful this year. Um, if, um, if you run any cover two or any two safety look, two deep halves on your field, you will get torched so easily. Um, the routes that have killed it, I've run, got stuck in it a couple of times. I keep forgetting. But routes that kill it are just simple streaks up the middle, uh, you know, deep posts, short posts, you know, anything can beat the cover two up the middle. And with the users not being the best, it's very difficult to defend a route 50 yards down the field with a 90 speed receiver. And you also have to work slant routes, post routes, other things. So I always, if you're going to run a cover two, and I really don't like cover two at all this year, just put that middle linebacker in a deep blue, but I really just don't like cover two because you can still get beat outside by wheel routes, by just unbumpable streaks. It's really not a good defense. Cover two might be the worst defense in this game. I've I learned that hard, I learned that the hard way day one. I got torched so many I can't tell you how many times I got beat for a touchdown just in stock cover two. And even if you man up the slot receiver, man up the post route, you still can get burnt. So that's not really a way to fix it. Um, like I said, cover three, cover fours, really, really good. Even man coverage, but cover twos, I really would recommend staying away, especially in these modes where the defense is going to be super slow right off the bat, especially ultimate team, the defense, the defenders, DBs are going to be so slow. And there's going to be Tyree Kills and Nicole Hardmans that exist in the game. Uh, you really need to stay away from cover two or your opponent's going to score in half a second. And that's really what you need to do in this game. You can't let your opponent score in one play. That's something that you can't afford to do. If they're going to score a touchdown, you need to make them drive down the field, get at least five first downs, and that's the way that you can play defense. It opens them up. And really the best way to play defense is to let your opponent make the mistake. So that's pretty much going to do it. Just follow these five tips. You'll be fine. If you guys have the beta, I re would recommend you guys go in. Just try out these five tips and let me know how it works for you. Also, let me know in the comments videos you would like to see me talk about Madden 21. We have a lot of time until the game releases, uh, so I'm open to anything. And, yeah, it's going to do it for me. Peace. I'm out of here.